Natale in and the World Championship bronze medalist uh, in hand outdoors uh, going back a few years now. There's Visser who was quickest in qualification, but for Tale, uh, hopefully there hasn't been too much oh, of a distraction man. for her. There she is, had surgery on her foot after uh, suffering a stress fracture last year and has uh, had a curtailed preparation. At one point, it didn't look as though she was even going to beat these European championships, but didn't look too bad in qualification yesterday. So despite a lack of races, Alina Tale still uh, will figure. I think Nadine Visser, though, with Naziri of Finland. Just keep an eye on them. So the top three, like the men, and two fastest losers. Set. This gets a cracking start in lane three. Talia not going too bad either. And Huska of Finland and Naziri coming through. And right on this side, Kozak. Well, the Hungarian ran brilliantly there, didn't she? Look how much that means to her. Almost bouncing off. And I think she may have hurt herself. Oh, my word. In her exuberance, when she bounced off the, uh, the um, soft landing that they provided with at the end there, she landed awkwardly because almost bounced back into another athlete. Now she's run a brilliant new national record, 797. But I hope she's okay. At the minute, she's thinking about the record uh, less than she is about her ankle. Just maybe a slight little turn. Visser got a cracking start as ever. Naziri has taken the third spot. She's still looking at her ankle. Colin watched the race and the uh, and what happens at the end. Yeah, I was watching this uh, like you, Steve. She she got up very well, and she was dominating this early part of this race. But she made a mistake at the back end of the race, and that's what cost her that the victory in the end. While Kozak herself, she was really flawless. And when you're flawless and get into a groove in your rhythm, you you feel that it's important. You can muster up personal best and performances like this. Still very close and very tight there. But Vissa, but uh, I would certainly watch Vissa if she gets a clean race in that final. She's through clearly. Let's have a watch here. Vissa in the orange vest, strong, isn't she? Into that first hurdle. Eyes really locked into the barrier there, trying to make sure that she runs hard off that trailing leg. And that projects you forward, pushes you hard into the next barrier. And you've got to be comfortable and comfortable with your technique. But here, I think she just sinks a little bit and she enters clatter this barrier. She twists, she turns, she can't allow herself to run. And you can see how much distance you lose. So it's important that that back end of the race, you keep focused and switched on, because that is where the race is won or lost. Right, just watch this, Colin. This is Kozak on this side, finishing incredibly well. Gets the dip on Vissa, runs through, looks across. She's delighted. I've won, I'm through. Look how fast I've run. Clap, clap, clap. Bounce back. Oh, I'm going to bump into somebody. And ankle turns. Now, she, we know down there, uh, it's, obviously that hurts initially. And you know the adrenaline when it's racing through you, you think, oh, I'm not that bad. But in an hour or so, that might be a bit more of a problem for her. Ice on it straight away, but let's hope for her it doesn't affect her ability to come back this evening for the final because that was a superb performance. 80, sorry, 6.25 the final tonight. Let's just confirm that then. 7.97, Nadine Visser, 7.99, under eight seconds, really good world-class hurdling. Naziri, 8.04 goes through. The other two will have to wait to see. And, of course, Tale will not be in the final.